Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lexis and this is not my first video. This is actually my second video, but it will be the video that will start the trend of consistency um, in my life, making videos for you guys and just keeping you involved and in tuned. Um, maybe some days I'll just have a topic. Maybe one day I'll vlog when I go outside. Maybe one day I'll do like a review um, of things for kids. I do have a son. Um, so there's a couple of things that I am extra about when it comes to him. Uh, maybe house products cleaning all type of things i'll have different videos all the time with you so just subscribe and keep updated so today's topic will be about love um yeah i'm at corny i want my little shirt that says love is enough you know what i'm saying but yeah so this is my book that i wrote a few notes in and i'll just i usually get distracted pretty quick and like off topic so i'm going to just make sure that i don't get off topic with you guys and my message can be delivered to you um oh look it's so cute anyway so it says a girl should be two things classy and fabulous and yeah this is just my book and look it has like the nice gold finish i love it okay so let's get started um there is a book that i read that inspired me to do this video the book speaks about love and the five languages that i will be um explaining to you guys however look let me say this just to throw it out there um no i'm not a counselor no i don't take my own advice sometimes i do give good advice but you know that's just how it works sometimes so i am doing this video for people who are in relationships or people who want to understand the you know the detail behind why some relationships don't work and it's because they don't put that extra effort to fully learn the love language of their partner okay so the five long love languages excuse me um so the problem that we have and i say we because most of us have this problem that's why a lot of relationships in this world do not last and we just can't seem to understand why not so we assume that the way we want to be loved is the way our partner wants to be loved and that is not a fact that is false information okay the way we want to be loved is not always the way that our partner wants to be loved. Granted, it can be possible for you guys to have the same love language, but that is not very common sometimes, okay? Um, we all give love in different ways and we receive it in different ways. So everyone speaks a different love language. That is the purpose. So in the book that I've read called The Five Love Languages, I will leave a link down below. If you guys want to purchase it or i will leave the youtube link below they have an audio book of it and i would also leave the five la uh, the five love language test for you to help you figure out your love language if you can't help figure it out on your own after this video um the five love languages are so they have one that is words of um affirmation i feel like i'm saying that wrong affirmation affirmation no I... okay whatever you get the fucking point i'm gonna spell it out if i have to my speech sometimes is just not all that bitch okay so um physical touch three receiving gifts four quality time and five acts of service so i'm gonna get into detail into each one uh, so most of us adapt to the way our parents and sibling raised us so that doesn't mean that we all have the same love language as our parents or our siblings, but sometimes we do. That's why I throw it out there to just help you figure out your love language. Um, considering they they were the ones to raise us and they were the one loving on us, obviously, you know, we might have turned out to love the same way. Um, that's because that was what we were taught. Unfortunately, some people were not loved when they were younger and that's not the case for them that's why i say again not everyone has the same love language so before you even think of being in a relationship the first thing you should do is figure out your primary love language love yourself learn yourself enjoy yourself and when you're ready to fully commit and actually learn and understand that you now have a whole nother person that you have to care for cater to do not think about being in a relationship, period, guys. Because you're going to waste your time. But not only your time, but you're going to waste your partner's time. Don't do that. Why? Like, just don't do that. So, 
um let me get into detail so for example one um words of affirmation so something like that would be like meaningful words you know telling them you love them or any compliment that you have for your partner that is actually genuine from the heart um number two quality time um excuse me telling them they're beautiful um the second love language would be physical touch so like so like quality time putting on your phone turning off the tv actually you know maybe playing a board game um uh, but you know something that just involves you two actually speaking and spending one-on-one -on -one time okay um some okay so some partners since if that's their love language they want you know to go on a date with you or like they want you to listen to their problems that's what they want from you so if you can't listen you're hurting them and you don't even realize something as simple as that although it may be simple to you it's not simple to your partner so if you care you love them you're going to go the extra mile to make sure whatever way they want to be loved you love them simple um you know for those people who they're um, who their partner actually likes quality time, you know, give them quality time, make more um, eye contact, listen to them better. Um, for number three, the love language um, is receiving gifts. Now, we're not talking about the, co the cost of the gift. We're not speaking about materialistic things. We're not saying go buy her a car or a hundred dollar pair of shoes every other day. Nobody's saying that. It can be something as simple as a candy bar, their favorite candy, come home with their favorite candy. Write them a letter, like write them a note, just write a quick note on their mirror or leave it in their car like, oh, I love you, you know, or have a good day. Anything that shows them that. It's a gift, pop up to their, their job with food. Like it's not an actual gift, but it's your way of, you know, to them it may be a gift. Like just any surprise is considered a gift, okay? Now, four, acts of service. Anything that relieves stress. So, for example, if you live with your partner, you know, taking out the trash or if you guys share a car or even if it's just your partner's car, you know, go taking her car for a wash. Something as simple as that goes a long way. Um, Let me see, like picking up the kids, anything that's going to relieve any type of stress off of her or just make her feel better, even if it's not stressful to her. It can be something she enjoys doing it, but if you see she's really tired that day, she's exhausted, but she knows she still has to do it, go ahead and pick up that task for her. Like, is it really going to hurt you? No. Five, um, physical touch. So this is the last love language that we're going to speak about. And no, we're not talking about sex. Everything is not about sex, guys. Like, guys... Like, hello, emphasis on the guys, seriously. So we're talking about, um, you know, some girls or some guys who, you know, they want to cuddle or they want to kiss, like, random places. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys can be outside, a kiss on the forehead, um, holding hands. Like, if you guys are hanging out in a group and you're putting, like, your arm around your female or vice versa, you know, just showing and being proud of your partner. If that's what makes them feel good, you know, do that. Or it can be a foot rub anything that's physical now my advice to you guys definitely please 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 go figure out your love language go figure out your partner's love language no relationship can be the best relationship ever there's always room from for improvement you know what i'm saying um hmm, let me see what else i was gonna tell you guys okay so in the book there was a a paragraph that basically mentioned in the book um the author stated you know once that a wife said he ignores me all day but then he wants to jump in bed with me she's not a wife who hates sex she's a wife who's desperately wanting love understand that it's not that for example let's say you're in a relationship and you don't show their physical primary love language is quality time and you haven't given them any quality time and i'm not saying every day because understand that people do have a life as well and not every day can somebody yeah pay. like if her first primary love language is basically you know quality time and you have to spend any quality time with them then they feel like how dare you not show me any quality time not one time this week but you're so quick to just jump in bed and have sex with me 
you know like but i bet you if you show them love and they have that energy then they're gonna be happy they're gonna be like you know what let me fuck the shit out of my man you get what i'm saying like but you have to do your part if not then it's just like why am i showing this guy love you know what i mean period like sometimes that's how us women feel it's not that we don't want to do what we have to do but we want you to also do your part this is team teamwork make the dream work okay that's it period listen listen listen, listen. we only love we were created to have a partner to make a family you know some days we let our pride get in front of us and we're like no we're independent we don't need no man i do it i do it sometimes i'm like you know i don't need no fucking man to pay my bills i don't need no man i hold my own stuff i pay my own bills i take care of my kid but no in reality you do need a man because you need that love simple here we get i'm out of okay we do need love like that's just what it comes down to um sometimes you know our parents didn't raise us in the wrong way so some men have that gap actually a lot of men do have that problem whether it be that both parents weren't um you know in the household or maybe they favored another child and they didn't show them love sometimes it's not even about not having the parent there sometimes it's just like our parent is so wrapped up and involved in trying to please their men that they forget about their children and that's why some people um should not have children with men that they're not fully in love with because then they sometimes this is me speaking for stories i've heard they won't be fully in love with that child now when you fully in love with a man and you have his kid and you were once in love with him you're going to always have a certain love for your child now when you went and just slept with a fucking random guy you met at a bar and then had his baby and he doesn't give a fuck about you then most likely you won't have the same bond you would have had with that child i also want to just encourage everybody to understand that it's not that men don't love us it falls into if we know their love language and i know there's been times and i've been in a relationship where i felt like i wasn't loved um when in reality i didn't know he didn't love me we were just both expressing love the wrong way and you know it, it happens it's okay and not everyone is meant for each other understand that like we're going to fall in love many more times in our life sometimes you don't last with anyone forever that's what it just comes down to sometimes you have to learn from this person you know what i mean um and then the next person may be the the right one not everyone stay married and don't get a divorce granted yes we want to stay married to that person forever and we don't want to have to get divorced because that's i don't want to have to get married to then get divorced that's not something i would like to do um i already had a kid with someone who i'm no longer with and i want to make sure that in the future whoever i marry is the next person I give my child to. Then um, I want to make sure I know their primary love language. I want to make sure we're both on the same page. We're both willing. Love is a choice. Like, you're not obligated. You know what I mean? The same way you want to be there, they have to want to be there and meet you on the same page. And if they're just not the one, then you should know from the beginning that they're not the one. Usually, minimum two years, like, you fall out of the in love stage. Not saying you can't fall back in, in love because it's possible. You can fall in and, out of, in and out of love in a relationship. Like... But in the beginning, you're so blinded, you're so in love and everything is just like, everyone can see the flaws in the guy and they can tell you, but you won't see it because you're just like, he's perfect. He's the one. And it happens. We're going to fall in love. Just understand and make sure that you're both on the same page to keep up that love after you do fall out of love and you love, you look for different ways to love that person. Um, You know, that's, that's really what it comes down to. Also, um, I just wanted to let you guys know and mention that you know, sometimes we may think, you know, we'll try. We're like, you know what? Um, I tried this whole week. I'm tired of trying with him. He doesn't change. He doesn't change. But it's like, we can't just try three ways and give up. There's like 98 other ways. Like, hello. You know, you have to be consistent. Consistency is key, guys. Okay? Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is sometimes we look for advice in the wrong places. Like, we may look for advice from a cousin or a friend but if they know nothing about our man and his love language then the advice that they're giving is not going to work so understand that um also just think about it like think of this as an example let's say you speak english and you meet a guy who's dominican and he only speaks spanish he was only raised to know spanish 
Now, yes, granted, you guys can communicate, you guys can have fun together, you guys can kiss, you guys can have intimate sex. However, there's only so much you guys can communicate because you don't know Spanish. You weren't taught Spanish. Or even if you know Spanish, you, doesn't, you don't know it the way he knows it. So certain things you would try to explain to him, he won't understand because your Spanish isn't as proper as his. Or vice versa, you're trying to um, explain to him your feelings and he's not understanding and receiving it the correct way because you guys don't know Spanish in and out and he doesn't know English in and out. So when you're in a relationship, you have to learn for example, the Spanish man, you have to learn his language in and out and know how to, anything you want to express to him, you have to express it to him in Spanish. Not even English. Even if he knows English, no. You have to express it to him in Spanish because that is his primary love language. Granted, he can understand eventually, you know, if he wants. It's the same thing. If you learn Spanish and that's your secondary language, you can know it, but the more you practice it, the more you will learn it. So it's the same thing with love. If that's not your primary love, but you have to learn your partner's primary love, which you have to, you have to keep practicing their love, practicing their love until you get it right. That is the plan, to get the love right. The love that they need right and show them their love that they need. The things we do for love, honestly, is absurd. Like, it's crazy sometimes. Um, Understand, too, that everybody does not have the same childhood. They do not have the same childhood. They were not loved the same way. Like, I can't express that enough, honestly. Sometimes intimate love, when it's gone wrong, you can turn to enemies. From marriage, it can be a battlefield. Like, arguments that you didn't have before, you now have. Over dishes or socks being left out. Um, You know, other things start to play. That's why you guys need to communicate and love each other the right way. So that if you guys are on the same page, everything doesn't come out so nasty or so rude. Tone of voice also means a lot. Um, you know. Oh, and as far as the physical touch that I mentioned earlier, also that is a sense of security for your woman or for your man. Make sure if that's their love language, you are enforcing what you have to enforce. Someone was also, I'm sorry, the author in the book was also expressing um, the importance of keeping love your love tank full. So it's basically as important as you keeping the oil in your car refreshed and change when it has to. You want to be able to fill your partner's love tank at least once a week. At least. That, like that is the minimum. Once a week is a must. You have to be able to do that for you and for your partner. Why? It's going to relieve stress off of you. Why? When you guys have difficulties, you guys are going to be able to overcome them faster. That is what you want to be able to do with your partner. Now, if you're not, if you're not, fill, if you're not filling up that love tank, like understand that eventually the fumes will burn out and it's done. Like no more fumes, burnt out, relationship gone, done. Might as well throw the whole shit away. Throw the whole guy away. Throw the whole girl away. Like it's just not going to work. But if you're filling it up, like, that's when it's going to be at its best all the time. You know, obviously, everyone's going to go through minor things. But if your love tank is full, his love tank is full, you guys are meeting midway, you guys will make it through. Period. Again, love is a choice. You know, even if you lose, over time, you can choose. Even if you guys fall out of love, understand that. You guys can re-spark that if y'all both doing what you guys have to do to be in that relationship. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say and share with you guys. So I will be keeping in tune, like I said. Comment anything you guys have to say, your opinions. Again, if it's negative, I'm going to block you. I don't have time for that. That's not why I'm making these videos. As long as it's positive criticism, I'm willing to take it um follow my instagram i will put it under in the description box i will be getting back on twitter so i'll be doing that as well if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of videos you guys want me to do go ahead and do it now if you didn't subscribe subscribe and your girl's off this for today but i love y'all share love spread your love and show your kid love especially if you have a kid it's just you understand that you're raising someone who one day has to love somebody else. Ciao. I'm out.